for laws comes as our whole state sees crime rise. And tonight, News Force Gabriela Vidal reports on new data showing 150 cars stolen in the city in just the past week. I'm just overwhelmed with the number of people who have reached out. I've talked to people I haven't talked to in three, four decades that, you know, it's like, oh my goodness. It's been nearly a week since Pastor Mike Coleman's terrifying run in with two car thieves caught on camera in the parking lot of Carondelet Baptist Church. If this is going to stop, you're going to have to get to the root of the matter. And I think it goes much higher up than 12 and 13 year olds running around uh, committing crime. One of those teens, a 13 year old boy, was taken into custody this week. Police say his mother turned him in. I, I commend her. I, I know how hard that would be as a father of two sons having to do that. Pastor Coleman's incident marks one of 14 reported carjackings in the city of St. Louis so far this year, but the total number of reported motor vehicle thefts in the city is much higher. As of Wednesday this week, St. Louis Metro Police say there have been 691 reported incidents of motor vehicle theft so far this year, compared to 311 during the same time period in 2022. This is slightly higher than numbers seen back in December, but overall in the last six months, the number of motor vehicle thefts has declined. And while it appears motor vehicle thefts and carjackings are increasingly connected to juveniles, SLMPD says there hasn't necessarily been an uptick. It's going to appear that juvenile crime is up possibly due to the fact that, again, well over a year ago, the age was changed uh, for adults. So what you're looking at, a lot of individuals who would have normally been arrested at the age of 17 uh, as an adult have now fallen down to the juvenile level. So that will statistically give uh, a feel that there is more juvenile crime occurring when it's actually been pretty much constant. But for victims like Coleman, they hope more accountability among those committing these crimes can help further reduce future incidents. We got to have a standard, and if, if this is going to cease, then there's got to be some sort of a punishment which will make it stop. Gabriella Vidal, News 4.